What's up everyone? Today I'm going to showcase my nine Kevin Harvick cars. I got me right here a 2017 Bush Beard Darlington Throwback Ford Fusion from 2017. Oh man, look at this beautiful fine specimen on wheels. This is one beautiful car. I had to take off the plastic base because um, apparently they put that on beer cars. I guess they don't want kids playing with them. But I'm glad I'm able to remove them and all of us are able to remove them. We also got another 2017 Bush Light Ford Fusion from Kevin Harvick. It's the regular one. Man, I bet he had fun driving this car. Either these two during the 2017 NASCAR season. I also got two 2018 um, Mobile One and Bush cars. A normal one and a, how do you say, oh, look at that. A combination of the two, Mobile One and Ford Fusion. And Bush Beard, too. Now, that's how you promote sponsors on a race car. I also got his non-Bush Beard Ford Fusion from the 2018 NASCAR Authentics line. Wave 1. Collect them all. At least, unless if you saved up a lot of money. I mean, they're they're pretty pricey, man. I guess they're not as cheap as they used to be. I got 2021 Wave 11. Oh yeah, this one, this line, uh, this wave had the best cars. Joey Gase's throwback to Davey Allison or Ernie Irvin. I love that one. We also got um, a throwback to Alan Kowicki and Kevin Harvick's Mobile 1000. Yeah, I brought like two of these because I'm really into this car. I got me his patriotic scheme and his mobile 1000 scheme. Two paint schemes. I love the, the Ford Mustang mold. It's one of my favorite ones next to the Fusion. Lionel, you seriously need to control your quality problems, man. Look at that. That is not cool, dude. You're making NASCAR fans angry. No wonder why the older diecasts tend to last a lot more. That's, that could explain why they're pretty pricey. Got me a Hot Wheels 69 Dodge Cornet. That's been out since 2008, pretty much. A 2008 casting. 69 Dodge Cornet Super B. Also going to California Scrapyard. Oh yeah, this car is ready to be bashing or cruising in the Demolition Derby. You see this car hitting speed bump or crashing into it, basically ending its misery. Hot Wheels Demolition Derby must be really fun. I also got the Chevy Impala Police Car Lookalike. The Doom Buggy with Guns. Bow, 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 bow. And a, a generic tow truck. That's to pull one of the cars out of the way so they end their misery. And I got the brand newest casting. Oh, I know I'm going to say it wrong, so my apologies. Dimamachini Velosi. Yeah, look at that. It's like a mix between Ferrari, Lamborghini, and Lancia Stratos, or Alfa Romero. Italian car companies, of course. Looks like the type of car I would see in uh, Hot Wheels Highway 35 World Race. I mean, it kind of looks like it. I imagine one of the paint schemes on, on this car. That looked dope. Like, that looks sweet, man. Or an Accelerator's version of it. Sweet. I cut out the card art of the 5-pack, because it's one of my favorite card arts. We got the tow truck and speed bump and the 69 Dodge Cornet. So those two are basically putting themselves out of their misery or just basically killing each other in a demolition derby. That's what a demolition derby is, you know. A competition where whoever wins and their car doesn't break down or is the last one standing, wins. And it's uh, basically... Um, Think of it as a, a car version or automotive version, like the uh, Gladiator games. Yeah, think of it as a uh, Gladiator games, but an automotive edition. <laughs> so it's basically a Gladiator with cars. Where tons of people watch these cars right here. The Doom Buggy. The um, 96 Impala Cop Car Lookalike. The Speed Bump and the Dodge Cornet. Uh, these cars would be crashing into each other or basically killing each other 
and probably heading off to Automotive Heaven to end their misery. Now the worst part is, uh, this car is a 1969 Dodge Cornet, and the worst part is that it has no airbags, which means the driver, whoever's driving it, because you don't see no one, either broke their nose or probably smashed their face into the dashboard or in the steering wheel, because that looks like a hard hit right there. I don't know anyone who would take a real Cornet to a Dale Mission Derby. That's basically destroying a nice, beautiful car, or a collector car, as they call it. And Motley Crue's Wild Side song would definitely fit the atmosphere of a Demolition Derby. And, uh, I gotta show you all. <laughs> I may have brought a few. <laughs> oh, man, I'm such an addict. I mean, I got the three Cornets. I mainly buy the five-pack just for these cars, just for the Dodge Cornet. It's one of my favorite cars from Hot Wheels. I also got the Speed Bump, which is not a mainline car. It's exclusive to the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Look how crushed that is. Poor car. At least it will be going to Automotive Heaven, ending its suffering and misery. Yeah, I got three duplicates of the Doom Buggy with guns. A military Doom Buggy, of course. I don't know who would take a Doom Buggy to a Demolition Derby because I feel like it would break off easily or the wheels would break off easily or it would get uh, crashed or taken out way too soon. 96 Impala cop car. And the tow truck of any of the cars die or end their misery. Yep, got three tow trucks. I know my humor is a little dark or extreme. <laughs> I mean, it's a demolition derby is basically a, a automotive event where cars basically kill each other, and after they die, they go to automotive heaven. And this poor cornet too, man, this thing looks like it got roughed up, like if it was in a Mad Max movie or something. I love this teal color though, if it wasn't so banged up. Sixty nine because it is a sixty nine Dodge Cornet. You know, if you think about it, this is the kind of car that Max could have got in Mad Max after his Ford Falcon um, Interceptor got destroyed. But they would have to import this Dodge Coronet to Australia, because it's an Australian movie. Got my Kevin Harvick cars, my duplicate cars, and my brand new Hot Wheels casting. I'm really fascinated. I love it. I just had to get me a few more of these. Yes! I love it. I would drive this Hot Wheels Cornet into Hot Wheels City. Mixed color wheels. I love that. I got the five pack here. Brand new release. It's already been out. Just look at this card art. Perfect specimen. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that a beauty? Hot Wheels cars killing each other and putting themselves out of their misery. <laughs> and we got General Motors and Dodge, because it is a, a real car you would see out on the street. The Impala and the Dodge Cornet. Or unless if you're at a car show, because they become quite pricey. Chrysler and GM. Two different car companies. Chrysler, GM, and Ford. Anyways, that is it for all, everybody. Thank you again for watching. And uh, let me know your thoughts or opinions on these die-cast cars I have. I'd really love to hear them. So anyways, goodbye, and you have another upload to see from me.